Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 231. What are all the receptors that uses the G-protein class GQ? All the receptors that uses the G-protein class GQ includes H1 receptors, alpha-1 receptors, V1 receptors, M1 and M3. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all the receptors that uses the GQ class? The mnemonic just remember HAV1, M, and M. So that's HAV, H-A-V, so that's H1, A1, and V1, and M and M stands for M1 and M3. Describe the signaling cascade of the GQ protein class. When H1, A1, V1, M1, and M3 receptors are stimulated, the GQ protein activates phospholipase C. Then that phospholipase C cleaves the plasma membrane lipids into PIP2. The PIP2 splits into DAG and IP3. That DAG will then go on to stimulate protein kinase C, and that protein kinase C will have its phosphorylation effects later on. On the other end, the IP3 will stimulate the endoplasmic reticulum to release calcium, and this will increase the level of calcium intracellularly. And this calcium is what's important in the smooth muscle contraction that is seen when these receptors are stimulated. One other thing you should note about the GQ is just remember that it has all the C's. So phospholipase C, protein kinase C, and increase in calcium. What are all the receptors that uses the GS protein class? All the receptors that uses GS includes beta-1, beta-2, dopamine-1, histamine-2, and vasopressin-2. Describe the signaling cascade when B1, B2, D1, H2, and V2 are stimulated. When B1, B2, D1, H2, and V2 are stimulated, it causes the GS protein to stimulate adenyl cyclase. Adenyl cyclase will convert ATP into CAMP, and that CAMP will activate protein kinase A. Protein kinase A will then go ahead and increase the intracellular calcium levels in the heart, and it will also inhibit the myosin light chain kinase in the smooth muscles, and therefore leading to smooth muscle relaxation. What are the three receptors that uses the GI protein class? The three receptors that uses the GI includes M2, A2, and D2 receptors. What is the mnemonic to help you remember these three receptors? The mnemonic just remember MAD2s, so that's M2, A2, and D2. Describe the signaling cascade when M2, A2, and D2 receptors are stimulated. When M2, A2, and D2 receptors are stimulated, the GI protein will inhibit adenyl cyclase, and this leads to decrease in CAMP, and therefore also a decrease in protein kinase A. One thing to help you remember the GI and GS is just remember that there's all the A's in here, so adenyl cyclase, ATP, CAMP, and protein kinase A. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.